It is doubtful if history affords the example of another city which has been the exclusive mark for so vast an extent of country. Following the lines of trade, all travel to the far west, whether for pleasure or for scientific research, all exploring expeditions, all military movements, all intercourse with the Indians, made St. Louis their starting point and base of operations. Hiram M. Chittenden. When we talk about any major events in American history, there's almost always an Eastern bias to it. When we think about the Civil War, the battles at Gettysburg or Bull Run or any number of other places seem to come up first and foremost in the conversation, and anything that happened to the West seems to be a mere sideshow. And that's sort of a bias whether you're looking at the Revolutionary War or whether you're looking at the Civil War. I think it's interesting to note that in Missouri, the war was at least as bloody and that in a lot of ways when we speak about brother fighting brother and families split and pitted against each other, Missouri's the penultimate example of that. The divisions here began before the Civil War because of the Kansas-Nebraska Act and the question of whether or not Kansas was to be free or slave with border warfare, jayhawkers and bushwhackers across Missouri's western border uh, beginning several years before the actual Civil War and then of course guerrilla activity that extended after the war. So the war here in Missouri was longer than it was anywhere else. It was probably more divisive with divisions that have remained on the landscape, but particularly the political landscape in the state. But in a lot of ways it also was the genesis of many of the individuals who in the end uh, were the victorious generals. It was the home of of Grant, it was the home of Sherman, it was the home of Sheridan. Ultimately, the nation depended on the Western generals to win the war for the Union, and those people all came from here. It was also the headquarters for the military in at least a third of the country. Uh, the Department of the West covered all the territory from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains and beyond. And there were battles fought in Texas, there were battles even fought in as far away as New Mexico and Missouri was central to those battles. It was also a place where much of the war material for the Western War uh, was manufactured and I think that oftentimes that's ignored. So for example, uh, whether it was munitions or whether it was Eads' gunboats or whether it was all kinds of other supplies that were used by the Western troops, uh, that emanated from here. The question of access to the Mississippi River uh, was controlled from here. The, uh, ultimately, the conquest of, of Vicksburg was something that was a result both of generalship that emanated from St. Louis and Eads's gunboats were built here in St. Louis. So I think much of the country is oblivious to the fact that Missouri played a really central part in the, in the Western war effort. 